Today we're at a local park and I kind of want to go over the digital zooms comparing them between the Fujifilm X100 5 and the 6. So I have both of those here. 6 and the 5. So that's what I'm going to do. Take a few shots here so we can look at the digital zoom between the two of them. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt and this is Dwyer Creatives. And as I mentioned, this is gonna be kind of going over the digital zoom between the Fuji X100 5 and the 6. So I'm gonna give a few examples. We're out here at a local state park. So hopefully you find this useful. I just wanna cut in here real quick. I forgot to mention, the Fujifilm X100 5 has 26.1 megapixels while the Fujifilm X100 6 has 40.2. So here I'm gonna show you the images as we use the digital zoom. It's gonna show you the regular photo, the first digital zoom, and then the second one. So let's go ahead and start with the first image, which has no digital zoom. Now this is the second image with the first digital zoom. Now this last image is as close as we can get with the digital zoom. Now we're just gonna repeat this process for the next image. And here it is as the regular photo with no digital zoom. We're going to use the first zoom and the second digital zoom. We're going to take that first set of image and we're going to crop in five times. You're going to see here on the right image, you are retaining a lot more of those details. And that is the Fujifilm X106 with those 40 megapixels. Now we're going to take the second image this is cropped in five times and 20 times here where you can see a lot more detail. So I'm gonna stop at another location here. Found a nice little branch with the dam in the background and I'm gonna compare the shots to here between the five and the six. Here we're gonna do the same thing with no digital zoom. Next one's gonna be with a digital zoom. And the final one's gonna be with the digital zoom all the way in. We're just gonna do that one more time where we kind of crop in the original image. We're gonna crop in five times here and then 20 times here. And again, you can see the detail on the Fujifilm X106 with the 40 megapixels. So there you go with comparing the Fujifilm X105 to the six. Now, if you are just viewing these images on say your phone or something, I don't really think that you're going to notice all those fine little details, but if you are getting those image blown up, if you're putting them on larger uh, hard formats like photos, if you're looking them at bigger screens, bigger tablets, computer screens, or even if you're throwing them up on your TV or something, I think that you will notice that the more detailed images definitely are going to be on the Fujifilm X106. And when you are using that digital zoom, you still are able to get and retain a lot of that image. If you have any questions or comments about using this or, you know, I just kind of want to know what your thoughts on are the digital zoom, especially comparing the 26 megapixel to the 40. I'll go ahead and end this here. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.